What's up, everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Fluffy Sword, and we're checking out the last plague, Blight. Uh, you can endure an authentic survival experience unlike any other. Carefully tend to your well-being, brave countless threats, and overcome daunting challenges within a disease-ridden, procedurally generated open world. Dwell into the heart of the Blight and bring it to an end. An obscure disease known as the Blight has descended upon the land, barely escaping its devastating effects. You find yourself exhausted, starved, and alone in the wilderness, but when an en enigmatic figure emerges from the dark, a glimmer of hope presents itself off in the horizon. Are you willing to risk your life to see the blight eradicated, or will you allow the disease to consume you? And there's a bunch of other stuff on there if you want to check out the Steam page. This is just the demo for now. Let me check out the settings quick here. Good. Perfect. Don't care. Let's go ahead with the standard difficulty. There are many dangers in the wilderness. Uh, less realistic, you start with a map that shows you and your camp's location in the world, making navigation more straightforward. I don't know, because I'm just doing kind of like a little first look preview. Recommended for experienced survival game. Let me see, there are many dangers in the wilderness that will constantly keep you on your toes. This is a level of difficulty. I mean, this is what it's designed for, so... Yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's see what's happening. It says there are authentic survival experience rooted in realism and immersion. Day one, okay. So it is procedurally generated. Spatial awareness through a refreshing top-down perspective. Some people don't like top-down, though. Hopefully they do it well. Severely grounded cooking, crafting, and healing mechanics, and building mechanics. And there's some new upcoming stuff coming soon with multiplayer. Uh, is it bright? Is that just me? All right. Ooh, I already like it. You can change controls in the settings at any time. Okay. Hold left shift while moving to run. Running will drain uh, your stanimer. See the bright greens? Yeah, we see that in the left there. Hold on auto saving. Oh, okay. Is that going to happen a lot? Use scroll wheel up and down to zoom in and out. Dear dude here. What's up? Hold middle mouse button or F. Okay. Good. Holding, uh, press left button to attack your hatchet. Hold it for a bigger, okay. Hold left alt, highlight nearby objects. Okay. Dog bane, twig. All right. Gotcha. Tab in your inventory. Take note of the items you start with. All right. We got gloves. For our equipment, we got a main hand here. An offhand, we have belt with three items here that we can use. Uh, we have a backpack. Looks like there might be different types of backpack. Right now we have, it looks like, eight slots. Uh, we got a steel knife here. Can I put that here? Uh, a bedroll. And cured sausage. Okay. Looks like that'll make us thirsty. Cure a little bit of hunger, though. Can be placed on the ground as a bedroll. Steel knife, all right. Okay, so, M to open your map. Oh, we didn't get a map, but okay. Oh, maybe it just doesn't tell me where I'm at. Pretty big. I don't know how long it takes you to get to one side to the other, but it looks pretty, pretty juicy. Press J to bring up your journal. All right. Set up camp. You were on your way back home to Gilramore. After a recent expedition, only to find everything taken over by a mysterious new disease. Not a soul to be found anywhere. You now find yourself alone in the wilderness, tired and hungry. The sun will set soon. To make it through the coming night, <clears throat> you need enough materials to light a fire and keep it burning all night. The fire should keep predators away while sleeping. Alright. Uh, so collect ten small stones. Small stones can be found lying on the ground. Hold left alt to highlight nearby objects of interest. Okay, to pick up three... These objects hover over them and left click. Easy enough. Easy indeed. Kills that. I want to kill it. Alright, I see one stone. It says large stone. Is that good? Small stones. Okay. Can I break that up or anything? Dot file craft with. Let's just drop that for now. Dandelions. Okay. I don't know if I should be taking any of this stuff. We'll need wood, won't we? Hmm. 
Okay. There's like some oh, small stones. What's this green stuff up here? Top left? All right. Large stone. Where's the small stone? Oh, is that it? That's a large one. They look the same to me. Small piece of flint. Probably need that too, right? At some point. Starting fires and shit. Uh, let's go with this one. Okay. Here, I'm going to take the uh, sensitivity down a bit. Hopefully they have one. Yeah, this is a little quick for me. What was that? Control. Toggle. Highlight. What does that mean? Can I just toggle it on? Oh, there you go. So you don't have to hold it anymore. You can just toggle it. Yeah, that's way better. Just leave it on. Fuck it. Berry bush. Let me see if I can get some berries here. Assuming we'll get some hunger at some point. Got blueberries. Alright. I like the feel of it. This is actually kind of nice. When I zoom out, though, it gets a little foggy here. I don't know if that's supposed to be clouds or what the hell that is. Alright, let me see if there's any rocks over here. Stones. Dandelions. I see a small stone here. Something over here. Another one over here. I don't know if I want to go that way. It looks kind of nasty with this green shit all over the place. I'm not even sure if I can get through there. Alright. There's a small stone there. Get away from that. Dog bane, long sticks. There's some more. Check jig. I'm only halfway there. Okay. Large. There's a small one here. Let's grab that. Stick. Twigs. Large stones. Small stones. Let's grab that one. Here we go. All right, let's see. Set up camp near a source of water, place a fire pit. Make sure that you are far from the blight, but next to a river or lake uh, for quick access to water. Open the build menu by pressing B and find the fire pit and uh, click place. Place the unbuilt foundation on the ground near you. All right, well, we're definitely not far away from the blight since it's right beside me, right here. So let's get out of here. A lot of resources here though. Get a few more berries, maybe. Milk thistle. Sounds delicious. Would you like some milk thistle, sir? Ma'am? Probably kills you. Wild garlic. Alright, so we need to get near water. So there was water over here, I think. Or maybe not. Wasn't there water like... Yeah, we were just beside some, right? Holy shit, there's blight there too. Just trying to go up the, the coastline here a little bit. I don't know how far away they consider far. Let me find a little place here to settle. Okay, maybe this area? How's this look? A little open, maybe? That's all right. All right, so turn that off. Go to B. Here we have our uh, crafting area. And we're looking for... Uh, let me see. Fire pit right here. Let's go ahead and place this. Alright. Setting up camp. 
building requirements. You just put them all in here. And then left click on it. All right. Okay, let's open this up. Uh, so we did that part, we finished that. Uh, stockpile, start collecting fuel. So we'll need some firewood and wait for sunset. We'll need enough fuel to last the coming night. While waiting on other tasks, chop down nearby small trees and then cut them up into logs using your hatchet with left mouse button. Avoid larger trees for now as your hatchet is small, not very effective against them. You can use logs as fuel directly or chop them up into more fuel efficient firewood. Create a stockpile for logs and firewood by picking them up, right clicking on them, and in your inventory selecting start stockpile. Alright. Go ahead and do that. Cool. So for small trees, there's a young tree. Hopefully that's good. Well, let's chop that up. Why does that open that? When, uh, whatever. All right, pick that up. I'd like to create. Uh, can I take this? Uh, how do I drop it? There we go. Start stockpile. Can I rotate that? Ah! Uh, hold left shift and use... Okay, there. Let's get some more here. Uh, find a large stone, it says, for cooking supplies. Okay. There's one right there, yeah. Himba. Cut the felled tree up. Alright, perfect. I don't know why you can't cut them yet. You have to, like, put these down. And then cut them after that. How much wood we need? Does it say? No, it just says start a stock, stockpile. Right? Stockpile. All right, let's pick these up. How many can you carry at once? Okay. Found a rock. Let's grab that. Place a small charcoal. Oh goddamn! Place a small charcoal pile. Place four posts for basic shelter. Oh, I didn't see all this. Oh, I didn't see all these. Gotcha. With your camp set up, finding a sustainable source of food and drinkable water will be your next pressing issue. Out here in the wilderness. Uh, you'll need enough fuel to last the night. You can use logs. Doesn't say how many to take, though. Uh, you still have some cured sausages from your previous journey. They will provide some nourishment for now, but they won't last forever. And your hunger and thirst levels bottom out will slowly cause you to die. There are many different types, sorry, different sources of food here in the wilderness. The meat from wild creatures offers the best nourishment, but the creatures themselves are also succumbing to the blight. That sucks. Carnivorous ones are affected the most given their diet. So rabbits would probably be a good one, but there's not much fat on those fuckers. Okay. Use a small stone to hammer the large stone into a bowl. Open the crafting menu to hammer the large stone into a makeshift bowl using a small stone. Interesting. I don't think I have any more small ones. Okay, never mind. They're all everywhere. Alright, let's go into craft stone bowl. Let's go ahead and do this. It takes one minute. This should give us a stone bowl for... 
heating things up, I guess. Can be, excuse me. Uh, can be used as a cooking surface and for transporting such boiling liquids. Due to low heat transfer of stone, cooking takes longer than usual. Needs to be equipped to store liquids. An efficient cooking surface. So we'd put this, like, in there. And we need more wood, probably. I don't still have much right now. I don't know if we should be drinking right out of the lake directly or not. I feel like we should maybe be uh, burning that up in the fire first. Get it a little... A little floppy boil. Upcoming features co op multiplayer, detailed character customization, in depth injury and wound system, and farming, fishing, and animal taming. So that seems to be on the list. I'm not sure what the release date is. You can find this on Steam and wishlist it. You can try out the demo yourself. I do enjoy it so far. I like the feel of it. Might be on to something here. Collect this stuff, throw it in. Great. Okay, so we got some good wood here. <laughs> uh, okay. Place a small charcoal pile. Charcoal pile. Small charcoal pile. Need firewood, sticks, and dirt or mud. Oh, I need to get the materials first. Okay. So I need two firewood. Uh, ten sticks taken from fallen trees, mainly used as construction. Okay. And dirt or mud, mixture of organic. Uh, can be combined with water to create mud. Wet mixture, of, okay. I was more so looking where to get it. Does that count as a stick? Wrong menu here. Uh, sticks two. Okay. No, oh, it doesn't count. Long sticks. Can I break, build with, craft with? There we go. I can chop them up. Fantastic. So that gave us four. I think I needed ten, right? Probably some over here. Uh, stick... Oh, I just picked up. Stick. Okay, there's a stick. Let's grab that. Uh, I'm not sure if I have enough here. Let me see. Where were we? Storage. Uh, eight. Okay, so I need two more here. Alright, I don't see any. Pine branch. Stick and pine leaves. Alright, they gave us another stick. Dogbane stem. Can I do anything with that? Taken from dogbane plants can be used to create plant rope. Oh, okay. Here, let me knock down one of these small ones. Uh, oh, there's a stick. I think we have ten now. Uh, I also need mud, I think it said. Left alt mouse button, okay. I don't know how much we're supposed to be getting, but... Let's just fill our pockets with dirt and <laughs> see what happens. Alrighty. A 2,000 uh, grams, it looks like. Jesus. I don't know how much I have. Two 
Two thousand, okay. And I need two firewoods. Here, maybe I'll get some new trees to leave our stockpile alone. We cut down this guy over here. Oh, there's more sticks there. I didn't even see those. Alright. Give this a little cut, a little chop. Yeah, so it's good. If you like kind of a slow pace, uh, realistic feeling kind of survival game. I don't want to make the mistake of comparing a game to Project Zomboid again, but if this one keeps up with a lot of things to do and updates, who knows, man? This actually feels really great. You're just saying that, Floppy. I have no reason to say that. Shut your face, okay? Shut your little face. If you're interested, though, you can subscribe to the channel, and uh, we live stream lots around here. We have probably the best community on YouTube. I'm just going to say it. Uh, let's go ahead. What was my crafting menu? Tab C. I forget exactly what it was. I keep going to... If I hit C, it takes me to this one here. I want to come over to this. Smart, small charcoal pile. Let's go ahead. Uh, is this for cooking? What the hell's the point of this? I guess so. Why do I want a charcoal pile when I have a, don't I have a fire pit that's not lit yet? Okay. Uh, ignite eight hours worth of fuel in the fire pit. The sun is low in the sky and night will come soon. It's time to get a fire burning. Last whole night. Add and ignite enough fuel till there is at least eight hours worth. Alright. Four hours. Eight hours. So this stone bowl, can I get water? Cause I can drink it, but equip. Fill stone bowl with lake water. Nice. And I assume we want to do something like this. Result. Clean and refreshing water. Alright, let's go ahead and ignite this bitch. And we want to boil this. Make sure to click the button there. It doesn't start automatically, it seems. There we go. Boil water from nearby lake or river. That's actually on our list here of things to do. Whip the stone bowl and click. Okay, so we basically did all that anyway. After starting a fire, click the boil and complete. Right click and drink it all. Okay. So it takes 14 minutes, it says. There's nine right there. Pine leaves can be used for fuel, it says as well. Looks like you probably need a lot of them. Pine branch. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't do a whole lot, but they're probably pretty easy to get. I'm going to go ahead and eat. 19 of these. Alright, just eat them all. Fuck it. Didn't fill us up too much, but the hunger went up a little bit. I still have that cured uh, sausage. Alright. That does make us thirsty, though. Let's eat one of these to see. All right, so that put us up a good chunk. Not too, not too shabby. Oh shit! Kind of scared. No, 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 no. Drink all. Okay, good. Could probably do that again though, right? Didn't seem to satisfy me fully. Left click. No, 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 I, ah, oh, fuck. I drank it by accident. Avoid the blade at all costs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, that was dumb. Is my health all the way down? My top bar is down. Light, oh, okay. 
We want to get rid of that. Energy's low. Hunger. Uh, inventory crafting is C. Build. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Earlier. Repair. It's a repair uh, menu here. Journal and map. Let's go ahead and burn this up. Okay, cool. Let's see if there's anything else. Uh, place four shelter posts in a square shape. Okay, place four posts. Build. Shelter. Posts. Shelter posts. A lot in the game to build, man. This is pretty good. Looks pretty good. Structures. Construction. What am I looking for? Basic shelter place. Four shelter posts. Okay. Wouldn't that not be in there? Post. Okay. Post. Must be this one. I need a long stick. Alright, get out of here. See if we can find some sticks. I don't want to wander too far from here. Do I have to cut trees down to get them? There's one. I don't need four of these. I feel like I'm going to get murdered. Oh shit, there's a wolf. Okay, let's click on this, right click, and drink all. Good. Alright, so I guess I'll have to cut... Jesus, that freaks me out. Okay, I have to cut down some more trees, I guess, to get access. Equip axe, okay. What happened to my axe? There it is. Looks like there's a... Uh, Durability on that as well, so we'll have to repair them. That's probably what the repair menu is for. Uh, repair makeshift sharpening. So you'll need a sharpening stone to do that. Eventually, you get a grinding wheel, it looks like. And branch. Uh, what? Normal branches. I just want normal fucking branch. Like, come on. I don't think you can get long branches from the pine branch, can you? Let me see. We got this one. I think it's a normal stick. Yeah. Okay, so let's keep moving around here. Look around for a second. We'll look at the, along the coastline, hopefully. We can find something. Pretty dark out, dark out here, though. Stick. Dirt. Stick. There's a long stick. Nice. There's two. We need four. Try not to get murdered by wolves walking around out here. Or other creatures. Dude, come on. Supposed to be realistic. Pretty sure I can find a long branch everywhere where there's trees. Come on. Okay. Small tin ore piece. Interesting. Really shouldn't be out here doing this right now. There's a long stick. Come on, baby. One more. 
Come on. Come on. Long stick. Yeah. Alright, let's get back. Gotta run along the water to find where we're at. Came out a little ways. It's pretty dark. Okay. So, we need to put down... Uh, if we do build... There's the shelter. I don't know- I don't know why it's not under the shelter. Are we just building a... A shack? It said to put posts, though, for some reason. Why not just build the shelter? Uh, to place your... Wait, what? Shelter layouts are defined by posts, which are then connected together with support beams to allow for roof and wall placement later. Start by finding four long sticks and placing them down in a square shape using the post structure in the building menu. Okay. Press B, shelter post. As you place a post, nearby posts will be highlighted green if they are close enough to connect together with a beam. Make sure all posts are connected. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this one's just saying to put my fucking bedroll down. <laughs> Uh, and go to bed, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. I thought we had to do the other thing. Maybe, we, maybe that's a tomorrow thing. Let's place this. Come on. Must be on flat land. Okay, let me try moving that, uh... How do I cancel out of this? Cancel escape. Let me get rid of this large stone. Okay, and right click, let's place this, there we go, and let's lie down, get all comfy in here, sleep through the nights. Guess my sunrise is about six hours from now, you need to sleep about eight hours to fully replenish your energy. The nearby fire should last about seven hours. Cool, it gives you all that stats. I like that. I really like this game. I really like it so far. I'm pretty interested in it. The blight continues to spread. Okay. Alright, it's daytime. Uh, it's not clear. End of end of the blight. It's not clear where the blight came from or how it spread so quickly. Your village, Gil Ramor, is a wasteland, and it doesn't look like any other parts of civilization in the Barony. <laughs> is it Barony? Barony? Barony of Barmore. I fared any better. You'll need to figure out some sort of way to minimize or eliminate its effects if you have any hope of surviving the long run. Find clues about a potential anti-blight serum. Be on the lookout for clues about a potential anti-blight serum. You have heard whispers of druids in a far-off land that know how to combat the blight. The stories talk about healing serums and fantastical elixirs that supposedly cure one's affliction entirely. If these tales are true, then there may be hope for humanity still. You do know that there were a few hermits and occultists taking shelter in the secluded wilderness around your village before the blight. Perhaps they may know more about the druids if they're still alive. Okay. Create rabbit snare. Place a snare. Basic metalworking. So, uh, that must... Oh, that's, this, that's what the charcoal pile is for. I see. Basic shelter. And end the blight. Okay. Let's go ahead and try out the basic shelter shape. Let me get some of these things out of the way. Alright, so we have the posts here. Let me go to build. And it said shelter and then post, but I didn't see them last time. Oops. Weird. Search, post. Uh, place? Alright. Too far away from what? Too far away. From me? Oh. Is this a good area to even set up camp? Like, it's not very... Not super flat or anything.
How big is it supposed to be? Can't place here too far away. Is that good? Okay. Alright. Now what? Place four support beams to connect the posts in a square. Support beam. So build. Search support. Uh, I need four. I need rope. Plant ropes. Okay. So plant ropes. I think that's that thing we already uh, gathered earlier. Plant rope. Okay, just type in rope. Okay. It's bringing up everything that needs rope. Bruh. Oh, come on. Items. Here we go. Plant rope. All right. So plant rope we need. Required items is dog bane stem. And I have one of those. I needed... Uh, support. I'll need four of those. So I'll need eight of these. So I need seven more dog bane things. So I'll have to go collect those. Here, doggy banes. Here, baby girl. Okay, we got one here. Oh, there's one here. There's number three. There's number four. Five. Six. And seven. All right, let's go ahead and make that rope with the items. Rope, one. Can I bulk do this? I should probably be making f uh, snares for food, but fuck it. Let's get, get this done first. I don't know what time it is. Does it show a time of day? I didn't really look. Or you just go by the sun and guess. The game seems to know exact times. Like when you go to sleep and all that. I don't know. I just work here. Please remember to subscribe if you'd like to see more of this game. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing it again. I think we might be playing this one again. Again, not quite sure of the... Oh god, which direction did I come from? Oh my god. Oh my god. Where did I come from? Holy shit. Wow, I almost got lost. Is there any marker on my map? I don't think so. This is my old homeland. Oh, wait. I, uh, it's right there. I am on the map. Oh. You can enter labels and everything. Okay. I don't know how to move the map. Click. Okay, there we go. Home. Gilramore. Here's our base. Oh, that's cool. Well, I need to go see some places. We'll do the tutorial. I don't think you... I don't know if, how much you can play this game. I think it's at level 7. I don't know where my level is. I don't know where that's at. Alright. So, let's go ahead and place uh, structures. Let's go for the uh, support. Oh, right, right, right. 8. So, I need fucking 4 <laughs> long sticks again. All right, close this. Okay, let's stick to the river, I guess. Stick to the river. I don't know how that song goes. Stick to the rivers. Stick to the streams and lakes you're used to. No, no, stick. Stick to your... Fuck. All right. Should have came this way last night, I guess. Need one more? Ow. 
Just ran into a tree. Whap. Long stick. Long stick. I have enough. I'm just maybe grabbing a few extras here. Not a terrible idea. There's some clay. Figure like we'll need some of this someday. Ah, eh, we'll just remember where it's at. I'll come back for it. I think we're all full up here. Let's empty this. We're getting pretty thirsty, and I should probably find some berries. I think the rabbit snare would probably be a good thing to work on next. Even though the shelter's not done, we still at least have a bed to sleep in. We should probably get some more wood as well, right? A lot to do. All right. Item support. Okay, let's do that. Place. Cool. I think that was it. Finish constructing the beams. Zero of four. At least four support beams. I don't know what you mean. What do you mean finish? Uh, basic mount of base shelter. The post will need to be connected with support beams to be sturdy enough for further construction. Place the stick support beam between each set of two posts to fill in the square shape. Place the stick support beam between each set of two posts. What the fuck? Uh, uh, uh. Must connect between posts or tall posts. We did that. It doesn't let me really like snap it to anything else. I'm not quite sure. Do I have the wrong one selected? At least the stick support beam. Stick support beam, let's see. Stick support beam. Yeah, that's it, man. Must attach between a structural post used to provide support for shelter. Okay. I thought maybe he was gonna like put one across here or something. Yeah, I don't get it. Is that a bug? I don't know. I feel like we did everything else right. Alright, let me see. I need to get some uh, water. Grab some down here. And hopefully we can get a fire going here. Drop that in. Here, ignite, boil, All right, and we need to get some more wood here. We cut these down the day before. Chop this into firewood and collect, collect. That was my stuff gone. All right. Uh, build. No, we want to right click on that to start a stockpile. Let's put it here for now. It's fine. This should be good to go. Oh, it's still boiling. Five minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty low. So these thin trees, you only get one lock, log instead of the two. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with the shelter. I'm kind of disappointed in that. Oh, you have to build it? There's a build option. One second. Let me do this first and drink.
Drink all. Get some more. I like this game, man. This is fun. This is a fun ass game. I want to play the full game. Yo, devs, if you're watching this, send me the. Send me a, send me a key, baby. Let's get floppy all up in there. Let's unlock the flop. Hashtag unlock, unlock flop. <laughs> Just start posting that on their Twitter. Oh, okay. So you have to build. Oh, I see. I thought it was already built. You have to physically build it. So the posts are built. But these you have to click on and build. Gotcha. I understand. Did not notice. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. I thought that was a bug. So I need. Uh, fuck me. I need a longer stick and two rope. Alright. Bug bane. And dog bane. We should be able to create rope here. Build an item. Rope. Where are you, rope? There's the first one. There's the second one. I think we just need one more long stick. Give me a wabbit. Not get lost here. Long stone, large stones, stone stones. Oh shit, hi. Hello. Laters. Twig stone, no, 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 no. Long stick. Yeah. Stop it. There we go, let's grab that. And let's get back. That's good that the map shows us where we're at so I won't get lost. Because otherwise, Flappy would be fucked. Keep an eye out for foods. Let's click on this. Okay. All right, great. That part's done. Let's grab the water here. Drink all that. And we'll do some more. So we can get our <clears throat> money's worth out of this firewood. Okay, great. Now, let's see what the next step was here. Let's go ahead and eat all the blueberries we got. That'll help us a little bit. Very little, though. Not much. The next step in our shelter, place, a, place stick rafters on the space defined by the posts. Uh, finish constructing the rafters. The four posts and connected beams will now be able to support the weight of a roof. All right, so... Shelter. Into we need a roof. Good old rough. I like it rough. Okay, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking for here. Roof. Why is it not where I think it's supposed to be? Is this what we want? Is a leaf roof? Place stick rafters. Rafters. Okay. Place. Okay. Get get off. Okay, I need, holy shit, I need 11 long sticks. Ugh. Ugh, indeed. Helter is coming along, though. Let's go ahead and drink all of that. And again, I want to get my money's worth here. This is pretty quick to do. Fill that up. 
Dig it back. Drop it in here. And boil that bitch. Alright, so we need more rope. Click again here. Uh, five of those and 11 long sticks. My god. <sighs> okay. Dog bane. Dog bane. I, I, all I want to do is play this game right now. This is a really nice, refreshing game. I don't dismiss it because it's the top-down thing, because people have been re have released some kind of meh top-downs. Uh, I like this. This is this is good. Dog Bane. I think we should probably have enough for the rope. Small trees. I wish we'd get some long branches off these. Maybe it's by chance. Maybe you do get some. I don't know. It's a lot of work, though, to chance it. Maybe the long, big trees? I don't know if my axe can handle that. Bell tree, but I see sticks, but no long, long sticks. Boo. Let's get some berries. So now we're on the hunt for... Uh, blueberries would be good, food and um, long sticks. So let's take a look, see if we can find some. All right. Okay. A lot of words popping up on my screen. I'm trying to make sure my eyes catch everything. Large. We should be in a forested area. This is too... Meh. Come on, baby. Where the fuck are all the branches, bro? Okay, we found some serious blueberries, though. Wild garlic, I don't know if you can just eat that straight up or not. We can try grabbing it. Wild garlic. Taken from wild garlic, plants can be used as a cooking ingredient, along with salt to enhance overall nutritious value of the resulting meal. Nice. Not ready for that really yet. I'm just trying not to die. I know we could get the rabbit snare going. I just want to... Really get this shelter going. Okay. Over here, maybe? Long sticks, okay. We need a lot, like 11 or something, man. One. Two. Is there any in here? Hello? Long sticks? Oh my god. I'm not sure if uh, I enjoyed the long sticks of this. Let me see where I'm at. Alright, we're up here. Does it show the trees? It does. A lot of trees up here. Maybe we'll follow the road up. Easy to track. There we go. Is that a twig? I can't see. Okay, good. Stop with the auto save all the time. I'm sure you can turn it off. All right, let's keep looking. Long stick. Blueberries. Guy is uh, getting a little hungry. 
Found some copper ore up there. That's cool. Yeah, this is kind of a chill game. I don't know if it gets more intense or what. Hello, coyotes. As soon as I say that, huh? How close is too close? There's a long stick over there, too, I want. Okay. wonder if you get sick if you eat too many blueberries. Like, too many of the, the same thing or not. Oh, I can't hold them. Here, let's go ahead. Eat all of them. <laughs> Just smashing blueberries out here. I could. My wife buys the big pails of uh, blueberries. It's like one of my favorite berries. Probably my favorite berry. I'll just eat a, a tub of it. Uh, where the fuck are the fucking blueberries? <laughs> Okay, pick him up. It actually worked pretty good. Our guy got some, some grub in there. Take the blueberries here. This game has been a pleasant surprise. Sometimes I'm like trying to finish up and wrap up a video. This one, I'm, I don't really care how long it is. We'll just... Uh, Kind of late at night though, so I do have a lot to do tomorrow, so I might not go as long as I want. Uh, where am I at? Okay, yeah, we're good. Where did, where did the path go? It's right there. There's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a long walk, isn't it? So we could go check out that town. Asterite? Casterite? I don't I've never heard of that, I don't think. Holy shit, branches are a fucking com commodity in this game. I, uh, holy. Holy heckers. Okay. Hopefully the forests up here have some. This is pathetic. Uh, yeah, the forest looks like it's a little bit on this side. Please, 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 please. Floppy needs it. There we go. Long stick. Grab that. Oh, there's another one. We came to the right place. <clears throat> enough space here let's eat all these so we got 10 i think i actually needed 11. that stick i don't need so yeah the small stones i don't need the flint we can hold off on those we can hold off on that we can hold off on these are the two things we do need need that long stick there's one there How far up are we? I really want to go see a, uh, a place. This is a pretty big map, man. If that was a little bit of a walk, it's it's a good size. Curved beige mushroom. Tall white mushroom. Long stick. I think we have enough now. I'm just kind of... Overdoing it a little bit. Pine cones. Look at this. There's some new stuff up here. So that's cool. If you explore a little bit, you might come across some stuff. Yeah, this is too far. It's about... We're only about halfway. Uh, and I have no idea what time it is. Let's, let's head back, I guess. 
I, do, I would love to explore at some point. So we're going to follow this road down as far as we can. It's pretty close to our base, so. Hopefully not encounter anything too crazy. Limestone rock. Looks good. Dog bane, more dog bane. Here, let me just point at my base. We'll just kind of go right straight for it. Wild what? Bergamot. Chamomile. Long stick. Fat Belly will enjoy this game. It's, uh, one of our good members of the community as <laughs> a stick fetish. Small tin ore, okay. Which side of this I want to be on? Probably this side, right? Dandelions. Let's see what it says that we can do with these. The coyote up there. Oh, you can take the salt out of the root. Interesting. What was that sound? Was that coyote coming after me? Danny Lions. Alright. Can I eat these? Fungus found on the floor. Uh, no, we cannot. <laughs> Look. Yeah. For 16 minutes, it takes 6 health. Okay, pass. Three health. Pass. Uh, this one looks like we can eat. Eat it all. That's cool if you're not careful reading there, huh? Or if you're in a bind and really need something to eat. Should be getting kind of close here. I think this is my little field near my place. There it is. All right, so let's see. I got the sticks. Throw those in. Great. I need five rope, so we gotta build those or craft those items. Uh, right here. One, two. There's a speed up button there too. It looks like. Lost count, but I think that's good. Let's go ahead and build that. Sexy. I like this. It's like uh, each step. It's like a, it's kind of rewarding, right? Because you got to work for it a little bit. We had to go and hunt those sticks out. <laughs> Jay, what's next in here? Place a, and construct a leaf roof on top of the rafters. Place and construct a stick wattle wall between one set of posts. Okay, so the leaf roof. Let's go ahead and just pop that up there. Place. Like that. And then, yeah, we need to get the stuff. Seven normal sticks. Okay. I think we can actually... Maybe I'll save these ones because sticks are easier to find. A lot of rope uh, and pine branches. Okay. <clears throat> Something we should do here. Uh, let me check if that water's still good. Drink all that. Overall, though, we're doing pretty good. Our hunger's not bad. Thirst is okay. Um, we do need some more wood, I think, to get through the night. So we should probably prepare and make sure that's taken care of now. And we can use some of the pine branches, I think, for the roof that we just uh, added. Do, 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 do. 
do 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 ba do ba ba da da ba ba da ba da Alright, let's do this. Chop it up. One felled tree. I don't know if I like that word, felled. I felled it. Oh, sounds wrong. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Okay. Drop these, cut them up into firewood. Um, I don't know if there's like Zeds in this, zombies or not. I haven't, I don't think I've seen. Let me go through the screenshots quick here. I have the Steam page open here. You can't see it. Uh, some of the bases look pretty cool to set up. But no, it looks more like a, you're fighting the blight. Uh, I, I, it doesn't show any in the screenshots, but maybe in the towns or something. I don't know. Okay. I like the pacing of this game a lot. It feels good. It feels really good. What the hell is this? A letter? What the fuck? Mysterious let letter. We have seen your smoke from afar. We will meet in two days. Uh, uh what? After returning from gathering resources, you notice it's a letter that was somehow placed in your camp. Fears others are alive and aware of your presence. Letter mentions they will meet you within two days. Ask, wait for whoever wrote the mysterious letter. Uh, whether or not they are friendly remains to be seen. Oh, shit. Pine branches, alright. I think we have a few of those. Okay. I think we need sticks too. I think we need a lot of pine branches, didn't we? Let's grab all this. Grab that. Grab a little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. Nope. I don't know how many I got on me here. Let me see. Uh, ten, nine. We need, uh, nine more, I think. Good, too, because these are kind of littering the place right now, so. Well, let's see. Is that all of them? Pine branch. The law of flop, eh? We're going to be one short. If you're new here, there's a, a floppy sword uh, law in the uh, in the universe called the law of flop, where we always appear to be one short whenever we need something. All right, seven. Look at that. We're two short. Fuck. I don't see any other ones. All right, let's cut a tree down, get some more. Young tree. Very young tree. Okay. I don't think we got pine off this one, did we? Do, 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 do. I don't know if the trees matter, the differences. Different evergreens here. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, actually, I'll pick that up. Uh, we need s sticks here. Let me see. How many did, did I need? I needed, uh, uh, just seven. That's not too bad. Easy, easy. One. Two. Settings. Gameplay. Autosave. Every yeah, ten minutes. I'll slow that down a bit. Okay, good. There's a setting for that. It looked earlier. All 
All right, I didn't count, but I'm assuming that's enough. Yeah, for sure. All right, now we need 14 rope. I only got one, so to make the rope, uh, build item rope. Okay, nine more? It said 14, right? It's late. Give me a break. So nine more. So I need... Uh, here, let me see if I can drop some stuff I don't need here. That. That. This letter I don't really care about. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just the rabbit. Alright, let's get some more dog bane here. Valerian. What is Valerian? Used as a cooking ingredient. Okay. Here, dog bane. Here. Doggy, doggy, dog bane. There's some. One. Two. Four. Ready. Yeah, if I was starting this again, I'd probably make my base like in in here, somewhere mid. I, I didn't realize that I even had a map <laughs> that I could see myself on. I thought it was an empty map. Uh, where it didn't show me where I was at until I figured it out. Dog vein up here. Got that coyote over here. I need to watch out for. Da 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 Camo meal Camomile Camomole Camomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomomom
I might actually continue this, even though it's a d demo. I might continue to play it. I, I, it looks like I can save it fine. So if you're interested in this game, check it out on Steam. Uh, the Last Plague Light. You can find it on Steam and wishlist that. Again, I don't know. Created by or, or, or Original Studios. Published by them. A great game. I really enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And check out the live streams. I'm always live, so... Uh, check it out and come join us during the chat. We have a great time. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.